Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of how to find the expected value of the product of two independent random variables given their moment generating functions. Given that the joint moment generating function for x and y is 1 over 1 minus t1 times 1 over 1 minus t2 times 2 quantity squared. And the range for these is t1 is going to be less than 1 and t2 is going to be less than or equal to a half and just strictly less than a half. Let's find the expected value of x times y. So we recall what the joint moment generating function is. So the joint moment generating function m of x and y t1 t2 is the expected value of e to the t1 x plus t2 y. And now what we can do is we can see why this is called the joint moment generating function. We can expand out each of these individual things over here. This will be the expected value of 1 plus t1 x plus t1 squared x squared over 2 factorial and so on times 1 plus t2 y plus t2 squared over 2 factorial y squared, and so on forever. And we can multiply this out and see what happens. So if we multiply this out, we get the expected value of 1 plus, I'll have a t1x plus t2y plus, now I can have a t1, t2 term, t1, t2, x times y. We can have a t1 squared over 2 factorial x squared term, a t2 squared over 2 factorial y squared term, and so on. So we can just multiply these two products out, these two product terms out, and we get this expression. And so we see over here that if we continue to simplify this, this is going to be 1 plus t1, the expected value of x, plus t2, the expected value of y, plus t1, t2, x times y, with the expected value here, expected value of those things, plus t1 squared over 2 factorial, the expected value of x squared, and so on. So we see over here, this term if we highlight it, so hence, the expected value of x times y is the coefficient of t1, t2 in this series expansion and the double Taylor expansion. Now, we can notice that if I give you a general Taylor expansion, f of t1, T2. This will be f of 0, 0 plus partial f partial t1 at 0, 0 times t1 plus partial f partial t2 at 0, 0 t2 plus, and then I'll have a 1 over 2 factorial partial squared f, partial t1 squared, 0, 0, t1 squared, plus 2, partial squared f, partial t1, partial t2, 0, 0, t1, t2, and then the similar term for the t2, so plus partial squared f, partial t2 squared, 0, 0, t2 squared. 
plus the higher order terms plus that, 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 that. I just keep going forever. And so we notice over here that if I do the, the coefficient of t1, t2 is exactly the second derivative of f with respect to t1 and with respect to t2 plugged in at zero. So what we need to do is we need partial squared f partial t1 partial t2 at 0, 0. And that will be our expected value of x times y. So let's rewrite our function. So our f of t1 and t2 is 1 minus t1 to the negative 1, and then 1 minus 2 t2 to the negative 2. So if we first do a t1 derivative, partial f, partial t1, we will get that partial f, partial t1 is going to be a negative 1 times negative 1, that remains positive, so 1 minus t1 to the negative 2 times 1 minus 2 t2 to the negative 2. If I do a derivative respect to t2 of this, I get partial squared f partial t2 partial t1 will be equal to 1 minus t1 to the negative 2. And then I'll have a negative 2 times negative 2, that's a positive 4, positive 4. And then 1 minus 2 t2 to the negative 3. Now if we plug in 0 to this formula, plugging in 0 to this formula, this becomes a 1, this becomes a 1, this becomes a 4. So our conclusion is that the expected value of x times y is equal to this plugged in at 0, and so get the expected value of x times y is equal to 4. So when we're given the joint moment generating function of two random variables, we can write out this series expansion and examine the coefficients of each term, and the coefficients of each term will tell us how to compute expected values of x to the k, y to the l for any integers k and l. Thank you very much.